friends good morning hope you are doing fine again uh, today we are with a uh, new fresh uh, interview question uh, session so let's uh, take some of the top questions asked let's say in the uh, 3c uh, rf uh, planning and uh, i'll answer them for you let's go one by one so uh, you know most commonly asked question uh, what is a typical node b sensitivity level so if somebody ask you you should answer the service and the load uh, determines the node b sensitivity in general node load condition the sensitivity is between minus 115 dvm to minus 125 dvm uh, node b sensitivity level uh, calculated in different uh, kind of services so like uh, for cs uh, 12.2 uh, we normally calculate minus 124 dvm taking no load in, uh, in into account for ps64 it is minus 119 dvm for ps128 it is minus 115 dvm uh, for ps384 uh, it is minus 115 dvm again what is the typical ue sensitivity so this is again a very good question and uh, uh, you know uh, the service and the load uh, determines the ue sensitivity again as i, as I told you uh, so in general a no load condition the sensitivity is between uh, minus 105 to uh, minus 120 dvm uh, again for different kind of services uh, the ue sensitivity is different for cs124 it is 119 for ps64 it is 112 minus 112 dvm for ps all all units are in dvm please don't forget ps128 uh, we have uh, minus 110 ps384 minus 105 and for hstb services minus 95 dvm so the next question is what is the typical node b maximum output power so it depends on what kind of node b you are using in your network uh, it's a 20 watt or a 40 watt uh, node b or uh, we can also say uh, 43 dvm or 46 dvm uh, respectively if you don't want to use uh, the watts uh, or you don't calculate in watts you would calculate in dvm so it's 20 watt or 43 dvm and 40 watt or 46 dvm what is the maximum transmit power of ue in the link budget so maximum takes power for ue in a 3z link budget is uh, 21 dvm yes so what is the typical antenna again uh, 17 to 18 dvi uh, sometimes 16 dvi also if you are using mid range uh, mid gain antennas for um, highly dense urban areas what is the typical maximum path loss so the maximum path loss is dependent on the services and again vendors so what the vendor recommend to you typically it is in between uh, 135 to 140 dv uh, for urban areas and between 150 dv to 160 dv in the rural areas again depends on the services and everything uh, what is the difference between DVI and DVD? Wow, uh, the mostly asked question. So, what is the difference between DVI and DVD? DVI is again in DV for, from uh, isotropic source, whereas DVD is from a dipole source. That's the difference. So, if you want to uh, derive it mathematically, uh, DVD is equal to DVI minus 2.15, or DVD plus 2.15 uh, would give you the DVI value. DVD plus 2.15 is DVI or uh, DVD is equal to DVI minus 2.15. That's it. Then uh, what's the difference between DV and DVM? Again, very basic and very important question. So DVM is the unit of power label measured in milliwatts in algorithm scale. Uh, that is uh, DVM is equal to 10 log of uh, W into 1000 where w is uh, power in watts so dv is not a unit uh, uh, dbm is a unit dv is the difference between dbms let's say there are two power sources uh, 43 dvm and 46 dvm so you can say the difference is 3 dv that's how uh, you know dv is uh, represented so that's the difference between dbm and dv then the next question is uh, what is zero dvm if i'll ask you what is the answer tricky one um, so 0 dBm uh, is equal to 1 milliwatt 
sometimes uh, I face this question also so that's the answer for you 0 dBm is equal to 1 milliwatt uh, then uh, you know uh, that's all for today so uh, in the next uh, session we will come with some new questions uh, related to 3G or WCDM or UNPS planning and also uh, some of the optimization questions also thank you so much for watching till then bye bye take care